the main goal for GNSS positioning system is to compute what we call a PVT. PVT is a positioning, velocity, and timing. Okay, or we call as well a PNT, positioning, navigation, and time. For this, we will use the signals coming from the satellites. Then these signals allow us to compute the PVT anytime and anywhere in the world for any user receiver that receives these signals. One of the first things when we are talking about PVT is position. What does it mean position? When we are talking about position, we talk about X, Y, Z. Or this is in a Cartesian uh, reference frame and we have different reference frames. But in any case, when we talk about position, we talk about reference frame. This is then one of the main cornerstones in GNSS are reference frames. Right? And typically, when we are using, when we are computing a position using a GPS sat constellation or a Galileo constellation, is what we call, we are using ISEF reference frame, which is Earth Fix, Earth Center, Earth Fix uh, uh, reference frame. They are uh, reference frames that are turning, rotating with the Earth. Yes? In particular, in the GPS case, we use the very known reference frame, the WGS-84, and in Galileo is the GTRF, Galileo Terrestrial Reference Frame. Then both are ISEF, but they are not exactly the same. Okay, they are not exactly the same because the calibration of a reference frame is done by the system. How? By using the reference station they have deployed everywhere in the world. Okay, then that's why they are not fully exactly the same, but they are really quite, quite close at centimeter level. Then you have to take into account this. When we are having a solution based on GPS on Galileo, the reference frame, the final frame will be different, but really close to each other. But this is not the only thing important uh, when we are talking about GNSS, because the PV is the PV and T. T. T is very important as well. When we talk about T, we're talking about timing. Say, okay, you have this position, but at this time, this time, which time? And when we're giving a, a time, we need to give the, ref, the time scale, okay? Because it's how I tell you, now it's 10, p 10 a.m. Now you in local time Toronto. I'm in Toronto. Local time Toronto is 10 a.m. now, but it's 16 or let's say 4 p.m. in Europe. It depends on the reference the time scale that you give. You have different times. When we are using GPS, the, G the reference time scale is what we call the GPST, GPS time scale. And we're talking about Galileo. We call about the GST, the Galileo system time. Once we know that this is important, we go to see how we compute the position of a, of a receiver on Earth. Then this, you know, let's go to a 2D case, the two-dimensional case. If I know the position of a satellite and I know the distance to this satellite, I know that I will be somewhere in a circle of this distance. Then I can be here or here or here or here, whatever. Yes, I have a lot of unknowns. I don't know where I am, but I know that the constraint is the circle. Then the equation I have to uh, here is, okay, Coordinate x minus the user, y minus the user, equal to distance, is the equation of a circle. If I have another satellite with giving a distance difference, I will have another equation. Yes? Then two equations, two unknowns, x and y. How many solutions I have in this equation? Two intersection points. I have two solutions. This is the two solutions. But if I have, I am an application close to the Earth, the solution will be the one in the Earth. The other will be really far from the Earth, really far. We are talk talking about thousands of kilometers, yes? Uh, how do I know if my algorithm, when I will be solving for this equation, I will go through the one in the, in the, on the Earth? Why? These equations are nonlinear equations, nonlinear. When you have nonlinear equations, as you know, you have to linearize the system. But when you linearize the system, you have to put an initial guess of your state vector, of your unknown. Then, if your initial guess is far from the Earth, you will converge to the other. But if your initial guess is close to the Earth, you will converge to the one is closer to the Earth. Let's go now to the 3D principle, because this is easier to see in the 2D. In the 3D, we have spheres. But the intersection of three spheres is still two points. Then one will be close to the Earth, and the other will be far from the Earth. Yes, but in the principle is exactly the same. Then we will have three equations 
with three unknowns. I need to know the distance to the satellites and also the positions of the satellites. Yes, is the, the information I need in order to solve for this equation system.